Shooting for a treat. I'm finally doing my first Edison battery restoration video. I know I talked about it for a while and I really wanted to get dressed up for the part, but I just simply don't have time. So what we're going to do is just pretty much go over these the way I got them. They were barn fine, put on eBay. I went ahead and got them because they're there are only so many barns and so many barns full of batteries and so many folks that want to sell batteries on eBay because they're heavy. So, um, we'll go over the, uh, the point of the video first and then we'll go over the little extras. So when I got this, it was dirty and it's still dirty. I haven't cleaned the top so I want to do the research, um, on what was required for cleaning um, nickel plated steel and so the manuals and things I've read brochures booklets etc uh, said use distillate um, and I think that's petroleum based so I went ahead and got some but before I do any of that I do want to have a good video of these an untouched state almost untouched when I got them they were missing the the nut for here for here and for here so I had to do some fun town research and discover that this is just about the right size and where this came from came from <clears throat> this setup here which came from Amazon. Let me get a good, well, good plug in there for. So, uh, what size was it? Well, using this convenient diagram here, I believe it was these. We'll test it real quick. Okay. Nah, let's go down one, go up one, sorry, let's go up one, so I tried this, didn't work, go up one, doesn't seem to be right either, what size is this, let's verify, it even did anything. Okay. Let's see. So we'll go size, size wise. Sorry about that buzzing. I think I got bumblebees under my porch. So looking up here size wise, I went from here to here. The second one down is what it is. Looking at it, I think. So it's it's um five sixteenth five sixteenths inches. That's what I think it is. So it's a five sixteenths. Yep. So that should help in your restoration project. These are 5 16 These are uh, A4Hs. I don't know if you can read that or not. H is for height. That means it's a little higher than normal so you can put more alkaline juice in there. And, uh, sorry, not alkaline juice, alkaline uh, electrolyte. <clears throat> okay. So that's out of the way. So what else? So I went on e on eBay and I ordered up these um, battery cables. They're the shortest I could find with the thickest gauge. I think they're two gauge, but they have a um, nice plated um, 
terminals that matches, I think. Uh, oh yeah, nickel, nickel plated. I have a little problem with these um, wing nuts. They're zinc coated, so I don't know if nickel and zinc uh, react or not. That might be a problem. So anyway, here we are installed on a terminal here. The reason why I had to get more of these is because they were also missing those. The originals, according to some information I read, are copper or copper interior with the um, with the nickel, uh, a heavy nickel coating. So that's the original that make up of these. I don't know if the price still good. I'll have to clean them up and find out. But if not, I have to order replacements. So when you when you crank down this a little bit, there's still a lot of wiggle wiggle. So I'm gonna have to get some washers or something to figure that wiggle wiggle out. That's not good. The originals are kind of proprietary. Probably not easy to find. So they have the equivalent. I gotta put some washers in there to stop that wiggle wiggle. But um. And I don't know why the originals are missing. Just if you look on there, it's been it's been hit or something with some kind of situation. I don't know what that's all about. I don't even know if these batteries are any good. They probably are. They're supposed to be almost indestructible. But and when I the seller sold them, they uh, dumped them, so they were full of that preservative until recently. Um, here's the, uh, nameplate, right? Uh, I, I found a list of the, uh, manufacturing date codes, and these were 1963, when these were made, 1963. So, that clears that up. So, they're approximately 1.2 volts a piece. I only have eight here. That does not equal... 12 volts. So I have a couple others I found on eBay, which are, uh, I think, 40s vintage, late 40s. I don't even know if they're the same size. I think they're A4s. I, they're so they're four, the seller said they're 4H. That doesn't really mean a whole lot to me. Um, but they looked approximately the same. I'll know here in a few days. What I went by was. If you look at these screws, the different sizes use different um, amounts of screws for the cases. And you can roughly estimate, if you don't have a measurement or a nomenclature code, you can recognize by the case. And if you know what the case looks like, you can kind of guesstimate from that and off of other things, other features. So what else? So that's in a nutshell. Um, I think the seller cleaned this off a little bit to ask questions what they were selling and they cleaned that off a little bit but pretty much untouched first thing I'm going to do is clean the tops um, we got some kind of petroleum to do that I don't know what that is it's some kind of foam residue packing here's the other Here's the other uh, nameplate. So yeah, so that is a quick review. As I restore these bit by bit, I will talk about what I've done, and it will hopefully help a lot of people. The paint was called uh, Esbolite, I think. It's some kind of uh, alkaline. Uh, alkaline resistant paint and you probably can't get it anymore <clears throat> but they're recommended paint on the outside um, so that's that's chipping off under that you can see the nickel colored steel plated steel so I don't think I get any esbolite anymore but um yeah that's it in a nutshell so Anyway, it's blazing hot out here. I got a lot of things to do. I'm doing some pet care right now for a friend. 
it's very very intense so um, I'm gonna be doing that here soon <laughs> it cools down a bit and bringing over an air conditioner because they're getting a little too hot and little pets so anyway anyway stay tuned oh I'll go ahead and open up one of these so you see what's going on it's interesting it's got a rubber issue Let's see it's kind of dirty I don't want that dirt getting up in there Something like that so that was interesting all right so let's let's finish up this video stay tuned subscribe so you can find my videos again uh, a lot easier for your own benefit or bookmark them or something all right Comment below if you got any advice, tips, or things like that. I'm just going to go through these as I restore them, let you know the process. It might take weeks or months because I'm super busy with other non uh, Edison battery uh, obligations. So, all right, thank you much.